welcome to another tutorial. My name is Tammy Bakshi, and this time we're going to be going over how you can use IBM IoT, IBM Watson Conversation, and Node Red to control a drone. More specifically, the Parrot AR Drone 2.0. Alright, let's begin. Now essentially, uh, what I've developed is a phone interface so you can uh, text message a Twilio phone number uh, with your command, for example, take off, land, or even like what's the battery percentage, for example, uh, and it will be able to reply to you using Node, Red, Watson, Conversation, IBM IoT, and all that other really fun stuff. Uh, now what I'd like to say first of all uh, is actually, quick one. Quick fun fact, I named the drone Tendro, Ten Maze Drone. So, yeah. Uh, so now also, really quickly, uh, this is in fact the world's first, to the extent of my research at least, drone to be powered by IBM IoT, IBM Watson Conversation, and of course, Node Red. All right, let's begin, shall we? So now essentially, as I said, we have a phone here uh, that's able to send commands. Uh, so we have a phone. Uh, and our eventual goal is to have a drone here. Uh, sorry, we have a drone here. Uh, and so essentially our eventual goal is to be able to communicate between the phone and the drone. All right, uh, But we can't do that directly. That's impossible, or at least almost impossible, unless you install the AR Free Flight app and uh, that other stuff. But that's too simple. <laughs> let's create. Let's say we wanted to create our own little API for this. So how would we do that? So now, let me show you. Uh, so now, essentially, what we do is we have a Node Red here. So we have Node Red. All right. This is one of our little building blocks here. We also have Twilio because I mean, a phone's best friend in the terms of API uh, is Twilio. Uh, and of course we have Watson. And of course uh, there's IBM IoT. Oh. Sorry. So we have IBM IoT along with this. Uh, so now we have a few, uh, quite a few building blocks here. But now the question is, how do we connect these building blocks to work together to create what we eventually need? Now, essentially, first of all, what I did is I set up the connection between the drone uh, and IBM IoT. That's one of the most essential parts, which is to ensure that the drone can communicate, uh, communicate with IBM IoT on Bluemix uh, so that we can actually transfer data. Uh, now, uh, that, that being said, this is technically through uh, Node.js, uh, so in between here I guess you could say there is some um, Node.js code. Node.js code here, uh, which is essentially allowing this communication between the drone and IBM IoT. All right, so now of course uh, we also have the phone. Okay, so now once this uh, connection is established, uh, essentially we have the phone that connects to Twilio. So now essentially we've sent a text message to Twilio, uh, and so from Twilio this will actually go to nothing other than Node Red. Now once this goes to Node Red, Node Red can now handle everything uh, and then send us back uh, a text message. So now to begin. We have Watson, Watson Conversation, uh, and so essentially Node Red sends the message to Watson. So now this is the first step, this is the second step, this is the third one. Sorry. This is the third step. So now uh, essentially what's happening is Node Red has sent this to Watson Conversation, and Watson now understands the intent behind what you wanted to say. For example, if you asked it how much battery is left in my drone, it knows that your intent is to find out the battery remaining in the drone. If you asked it to fire up the engines, it knows that you want to take off, and if you asked it to land, it knows that you want to land your drone. So now, once Watson knows this intent, it's going to return uh, a response to Node Red. Now, in this case, now, just before I continue, if you haven't already, please do check out my Watson Conversation YouTube video uh, that essentially teaches you how you can use Watson Conversation in depth. Continuing though, by the way, link will be in the description. All right, so now essentially uh, the Watson Conversation Service will give us a response. 
but in this case, I programmed it to not give me a simple response, but an advanced response. And this advanced response will give me two responses instead of just one. Now, why would we need two responses? Well, let's say that this Node.js code hasn't executed, or the drone, we weren't able to get uh, any battery percentages from the drone, or the drone has been disconnected, any one of those issues. In that case, we don't know how much battery there is in the drone. So what do we do? Well, Watson returns to, as I said, uh, texts. Uh, and so the first one assumes that yes, we do have a battery percentage value, and the second one assumes that no, we do not have a battery percentage value. Then what node red is going to do is it's going to check its global variable or its global context and check whether or not uh, that, the, that the Watson conversation uh, or the, sorry, the battery percentage currently exists inside of its global context, meaning did the drone actually send us a battery percentage? Uh, and if it did, what it's going to do is it's going to choose the first one, the battery percentage, uh, the battery percentage, uh, uh, of course, uh, message because of course if we do have it available we want to send it to the user and if it's not available then we'll say sorry the drone has not yet provided me with this information all right so now, uh, now once Watson has given the result back to node red node red will send a uh, message back down here to Twilio this is of course the fourth step uh, and then Twilio will well, certainly send it back to your phone, which is the fifth step. But then, how do we control the drone? Well, pretty simply, uh, once Node Red knows the intent, uh, whether it is to take off or to land, it will send that intent uh, to technically not the drone. Uh, well, essentially what's going to happen uh, is it's going to send this um, a request, I guess you could say, uh, to, well, IBM IoT. So it's going to send it down here to IBM IoT, which is the sixth step. Uh, and then IBM IoT will, you know, send it up through Node.js code to the drone, and the drone will, you know, reply back with what it's currently doing. Uh, and once we have this entire thing working here, uh, it becomes a really neat system, which allows me to control a drone using my phone. All right. So now, let's actually message Tandro and see uh, what we can achieve here. Uh, so now, as you can see, I have my phone, uh, and I'm writing a text message to Tandro. All right. Now, as you can see, what I'm going to say is I'm going to say something like, hey... How much battery is left in my drone? Question mark. Alright, now if I send this, quite simply it says, The battery percentage of your drone is currently 63%. Pretty nice. Uh, should be good enough for a takeoff, and maybe a little flight. Uh, and so, what we can do is, I can say, Fire up the engines! Exclamation mark. All right, so now uh, let's actually look at the drone for a sec. Uh, now I'm going to send the message and look at the drone. All right, it has now taken off. And as you can see, the drone has taken off. And now uh, we can let it fly, but let's say we want it to land, right? All I need to say, land the drone. All right, I'm going to send this text message and now watch the drone. As you can see, the drone has landed, and as I said, fire up the engines, it said, all right, up we go, which is one of the options that I gave Watson Conversation. And once I said land the drone, it said, all right, landing the drone, the battery percentage is now 57%. And that was how you can control a drone. If actually, you know what, uh, let's just do a second demo, or you know what, never mind, let's uh, not do that. But... That was how you can control a Parrot AR Drone 2.0 with, of course, Watson Conversation and IBM IoT. And just before I end off today, I'd like to say that last night I was with uh, Marcus Van Kempen in the IBM uh, Bloor office in downtown Toronto. You know, we were throwing around some ideas, uh, mixing up some ideas, uh, and we got the idea. Uh, and, of course, uh, I was able to develop, uh, using Node-RED and IBM IoT, this project. 
Uh, and, of course, I actually do have a lot more stuff coming up with him. Uh, in fact, yesterday we didn't have enough time to record, uh, but I do have some more features that I will be adding in with him. Uh, and then, of course, we will create a collaboration video. But I want to keep the features a surprise for now. But that's going to be it for this tutorial. And just before I end off, I'd like to say that in case you don't know who Marcus Van Kempen is, well, essentially, he's my mentor from IBM. Uh, and, of course, uh, I do lots of collaborations with him. In fact, uh, one of my er earlier IoT videos, uh, my IoT Part 2 uh, for beginners, uh, which will be in the description, uh, was a collaboration with Marcus. Uh, and so... Yeah, that's actually going to be it for this tutorial today. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please consider liking the video. And if you think it, hel it could help someone else that you know, maybe even consider sharing the video. Of course, if you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions, do send them to my email at tajimanygmail.com. Tweet, tweet them to me at tajimani or leave them in the comments down below. And of course, if you really like my content and you want to see more of it, please do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel as it really does help out a lot. Alright, that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much. Goodbye.